Alrighty, welcome back. You know what day it is. It's Friday. So today, I'm very happy with, with what's going on so far. Jolene has welded the back window in for us last night. You can see that on YouTube if you want to. Not YouTube, sorry, Facebook. Uh, she posted that on there. I think she might even post us grinding it off. I'm not sure. But what happened is Jolene welded the window in last night. So I come in and ground off the weld and, and made it look the way it is. I'm happy with it. No, I'm very happy with it. Very happy. Jolene did an excellent job. Uh, but basically what's got to go on today is I'm going to try to make a tail light. This opening in the back that I've got going on here, if you want to come over and take a look, bebe. I left an opening in the back here. I wanted to make one single big tail light to go all the way across. That was what was in my brain when I was building this car about three or four or five years ago. And uh, now's the time to get on it because the back window's in place. And now's the time to do the tail light. Uh, what I'm going to do with the tail light, uh, I, I need to make a box, or no, a box, whatever, I guess you call it. I'm going to French. Uh, a box inside this and the taillights are going to be inside the box and then the front of it's going to be red Pepsi pe plexiglass. Somebody said they like Coca-Cola glass better. Well, I like Pepsi glass better. <laughs> that was funny. Um, yeah, so I have to make a box to shove in this hole uh, to, to hold the lights and then have a mount or a bracket somehow that I'm going to hold the red Pepsi glass on the front. The lights will be inside. They'll be inside the box and we'll run one straight light all the way across just because I wanted to make something different. And uh, let's do it. Um, what I've got going on here, I'm not sure what I used there, if I bent them up or what I did. Just took a piece of round rod and bent that across around like that. I see I've got a tack there. I've got to tack it in the back side yet. It's bent up a little bit from pushing it around and doing whatever. But what I thought to myself, instead of me trying to make and mock that bend I got going on, I just got Jolene to pick me up a couple muffler clamps. This is what I'm going to do. That muffler clamp fits in there like that. So we know that that's going to be okay. I got one for this side and one for the other side. And what I'm going to do right at the present moment, let me get, it, get myself, I got a mark in my pocket. This is what I'm going to do. Let's do it together. All right, so I got this here like that. I'm just going to mark it. And the reason I'm going to mark it, I just I want to measure how long a, a piece of round star or round bar that I'm going to use to weld it together. So I'm just going to go right here. And I'll go over the other side. Put that one in there. And when it comes to this sort of stuff, I think of stuff that's already got shape. This has already got shape. No sense me trying to make it when uh, a muffler clamp will do. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know if I should do that one there. See if they're the same. Got to have tail lights. I wanted to change the tail lights. Obviously I took the tail lights all out of it. I finished it off here, made this a little bit longer, rolled this down. I've done a bunch of work there. Just going to let that fall there. I'm going to get a cut piece of round bar. What I got going on? I got a couple pieces here. I keep that, keep the metal rolling. I do. Just keep using it. Keep using it. And this is stuff that anybody can do. If you don't like, basically, what's going on here? When I when I got the car, I got a shell. I did. I did have. I could have got some tail lights, but most of the tail lights that you have put on these cars. They've got pits in them, and it's pot metal. Then you have you have to send it away, get a chrome, and it's called money. This is how I'm trying to get away from it, using what I have and doing, using what I have and doing what I want to customize it to make it. Oh, I got a one already over there. Uh, make it what we want, and I'm trying. What I did is I tried to release uh, myself from sending something out to get chromed, to get the tail lights done. Uh, to get a bumper done and all that stuff. I'm, I'm trying to save money. And the reason I'm saving money because I'm doing it myself. Doing it myself. And that way there. 53 and a half. Fifty-three and a half. So cut myself a couple pieces. 
So what I'm doing is I'm Frenching a box in the back to put taillights in. So I have to make the box. The box has to be smaller than this opening so I can shove the box in. You know, I can't make the box bigger than the opening here. It has to fit through. Let's do this. Jolene looks amazing today. She looks, always looks amazing. She does. Very happy with the back window. Very happy with it. I'm, I'm happy that I, you know, carried on. Uh, I think I saved myself a little bit of work, I think. I also figured out, when, you know, when I was doing that, I also figured out if I had the back window, how I would have done it. I figured that out. So next time, if I have a back window or doing a chop like that, I know exactly what to do. And I would tell you, but the, at the basic mo at the moment, we're building something else, so it's pretty hard to, you know, get on a, a different subject when we're building this. So 53 and a half, I said. Just trying to get away from trying to get away from the taillights. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing. And also when you have a car, that's a, actually how, how, and the reason why a lot of stuff gets customized, or a lot of stuff gets customized, because I'm trying to cut down the cost of what's going on. Um, if, I'm, if I'm able to make it, um, I don't have to send out and get nothing chromed. Um, as I've done the front, the grill, like I think I mentioned it before, the grill is a 2000, I think a 2002 uh, Dodge van grill. Well, I can, like I said, I bought a brand new one for $200. So for me to, you know, I'm saving money, I figure. And also, I'm figuring out how to make something. You know, once I once I say I'm not going to do, I'm not going to pay someone else to do something. Then I have to use my brain and figure it out for myself for what I what I want and what I have to do to get it done. And that is the fun part of figuring out what I have to do to get it done. On the window, I am right right now. I am going to, uh, I, you know, going. I was going to go to a powder coat and place and see if I could use their their uh, their oven. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my own, I think. I'm just going to tow the old barbecue up here, make a top for it, make it big enough that I can shove the template for the window in the barbecue on top of the barbecue. I'm going to have to do a few things to make it work, but I'm going to make the barbecue. I might as well turn the barbecue on and form the window. And right now I'm trying to figure out whether I want to put the, uh, the plastic vinyl wrap on the pexy glass before I put it in the the uh, the oven so when it shapes it's all done or if I want to put it on after and I'm thinking I'm thinking that I would like to vinyl wrap both sides be even before I put the plexiglass in the oven that's what I'm thinking and uh, you're going to be here with us so you're going to get to see it be done and uh, we'll figure out which is the best way. Um, we'll figure out which is the best way. What I'm doing, I'm just putting that on there like that. And that's going to give me what I need. You know, I'm going to have that. Oh, that's going to be my box for the taillight. So I'm thinking, you know, today, tomorrow, the next day, we've, we've got our plexiglass. We have. We've got it. Um, all we have to do now is, is make an oven. And I think I can make an oven pretty quick. I'm having fun. I really am. I'm having lots of fun doing this. Back one, it looks amazing. Not as amazing as you, Jolene, though. Not as amazing as you.
So making a box. Just over there a little bit. That's all. I want to cut that off. Just. Just didn't get in the position that I wanted. That's all. I'll just do it again. This one, this end. This will be another welding project for Jolene. This will be another welding project. And, and what I'm doing is I'm making my own tail light. I make my own tail light. I think it's a great idea to make your own stuff. Makes you use your brain, makes you busy. And when I'm done, uh, there's a lot of satisf satisfaction. Satisf I can't say the word, I'm not going to try to say it. Satisfaction. Sticking her together. Uh, da, 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 da. Put that on top of the ground so we, we got ground. Heidi hidey ho neighbor. Alrighty, I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to take the flapper wheel and just grind the edge off. i got to have a smooth edge where I put the metal on to make my box. Don't want to get my box too big. Does not matter on the inside, but on the outside where I'm putting the metal, I've got to have a, I want a flat surface. Let's take a looky here at this. I'll go this side. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Good stuff. I think I'm going to put, yeah, I am going to put a piece in the center because it's quite a long distance there. Uh, I'm going to put a piece in the center. And that's going to hold, this one to hold on this edge. So I'm just going to go like this. We'll go in there. Nope, that's not the one I want. I'm just going to cut a piece of round rod to stick it in there. those inside there so that should let me know that we're okay here you know turn my welder back on it's Friday I'm happy that it's Friday I guess it doesn't really much matter every day is the same but you know I know I know one thing for sure when I was working for somebody else and uh, I was when I was hanging chickens as a younger person when Friday came, it really was nice to be able to get off, go home, and work on what you want to work on. And when I say I build the cars the way I want to build it, it makes me happy. Well, when you get home Friday and you get to do what you want, 
It's called happiness. I know it. So I think Friday is a great day because people get to go home. Okay, I was going to see. Get to go home and do exactly what they want to do. And that's basically 60, 30. I'll say that's the center, I guess. And it's nice to do what you want to do. That's why I feel this customizing thing, cutting up cars and, and doing what I'm doing, is nothing but nothing but pleasure because it's exactly what I want to do. don't know exactly what I'm doing right at the present moment that's okay because you'll see in the end you'll see in the end yeah this is what I need I need to take this transfer it over to a piece of metal and Cut a piece for the back. That's what I'm going to do. Sheet of metal's over here. We'll lay it right on the floor and use them, them little shears. that we can use for sure. Beautiful. Get on the edge there. We'll have to cut that around there with the zip cut probably. Yeah. Get my trusty marker. I leave my trusty marker over there tonight. Oh, if, if I didn't tell you, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm excited about all this, what I'm doing right now, because it's all new adventure, really it is. Doing the, going to be doing the window and just doing the taillight and uh, really working on this car is making me happy. It's been a while. It's been a while. Got to thank everybody for all the comments, you know. Um, it's, it's fun. It's fun to see people uh, change their mind and feel differently about the back window. You know, I, I was up and down about it too. I didn't know which way I wanted to go. But as I got thinking about it, it's exactly what I do every time usually is use what I have to get it done. Um, didn't have the back window. And when it comes to making the window, I'd rather just try to make one for now. <laughs> Makes sense? Yeah. We're going to use that stuff there, tinsel for the Christmas tree. No waste. Glasses down there. I get my. I got a pair of safety glasses right here. 
I'll do Susie. I'm just cutting with the zip cut for now. Alrighty. When, when I think of, of something being Frenched, I think of French kissing, and then I go to Jolene. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? When you French something, you know, you're putting it inside, so I have to build a box to go inside that, and that's what I call Frenching. that and didn't have a glove on would have missed the thumbnail. Just taking it back to the line trying to make it straight as straight. There's we here. All righty. That's where we're at with that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one side on and then sand the other side to make it fit the way I want it to fit. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to lay one side on so where, up, where I want to weld it. And then I, it's, it looks a little big to me at the present moment. So then I'll just go to the other side and then sand that side off. So I'm gonna, oh, I need that. Don't throw it away. And, uh, take my hat off. Might have to do a bit of sanding, but that's fine. That's fine. Got the wrong glasses on, I can tell you that for sure. Hmm. Need some C&I glasses. I'll leave them up here, did I, sweetheart? There they are, right there. Grab my marker.
I got quite a bit of trim off there, haven't I? Wow. I'm going to take a zip cut and do that. I don't think it's going to hurt it any if I go along inside and tack it. I'm going to go inside along, tack it, and then when I cut it off, it's not flapping on this side. I got it welded on this side. It's not welded on this side. I start putting the zip cut on that. I'm going to start flapping and going on. So I'm just going to run a spot of weld just ease up in the inside. It's not going to affect anything. And that's why I'm going to do it, because it's not going to affect anything. We need, we need ground. Using the clamp to hold it down. Mm. Good. Good, good, good. You can see I look down it. You can see it's got a little bit of bend to it. Straighten her out. Alrighty, let's turn this off for a second. We're going to cut the access off. The zip cuts that I do that, that I get to that size, 
I use for grinding off the welds because they're small and I can do a little detail work on grinding the welds or just smaller. They do a good job um, grinding the weld instead of everything else. And basically that's what I use them for. That's what I use them for. No, nope, I don't want to go with that one. I'm going to go with this one. I'm just going to use this one up. So I use them right to the end and they do a good job grinding or doing the weld, grinding the welds. off some sharp edges. Make it fit real good. Got a weld right there I don't like. Don't like that gap. Don't want it. I don't want it. What I do is just push it down tighter. Turn that on. It's not like I had to change it, but where I can, why not? Yeah, where I can, why not? Alrighty. Now what I have here is the, the piece that's going to go. This is where <clears throat> the tail lights are going to come in this side. I'll drill a hole in here, a tail light will come in here. Whatever, I'm going to run my tail lights or my brake lights in through here, my signal lights or whatever I want to run. Then I'm going to have to put a piece on here. Let's, let's, go, let's go take a measurement. So what's, what's happening is that is the back plate, backing plate, or this is what I'm, what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is the backing plate for the lights. So the lights can fit in there like so. That's where the lights are going to be and on this piece. Then this piece has to be, have to have a piece of metal coming out here and a piece of metal coming from the top so I can weld it all the way along around here so that's Frenched in there. And then what I'll do is I'll put some brackets on the, from here to here to hold my plexiglass in the front to cover the tail lights. That's what I'm going for. So basically I'm just building a box right now to hold the tail lights. I'm going to knock that down because I want to run some weld around the outside of this. I want to weld the outside of this like the other side. I just want to hammer. A couple little gaps. A couple little gaps here. just want to beat it down tight. On there. I'm going to run some, some weld down along there. I know I got something on the inside, but I want to match the outside. Just being, just being me. I feel like I have to, and I feel like I want to.
Nice and straight. Not bad. Not bad. Now what I'm gonna do is take a tape measure. I've got one right there. Take my helmet off. And I can only go in that far for the backing plate. So right there I've got three and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it, well, I'm gonna make it, we'll say, four and a half. Yeah, four and a half, five. And then I'll shove the box in and then I'll trace off the access. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, so I need to take measure again. That's five feet. Tape measure's hard to get used to. Mark my pocket. So I need. Dun, 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 dun. I need a five inch piece. Or I'll say, we'll say four. We'll say five. I can cut it off. Five inch piece. Five feet will make the corners. Well, actually, yeah, I can make the corners separate. Make the corners separate. We'll do a five footer here. Draw a straight line. Could use that, I suppose. I'll use a ruler. I haven't told you already, it's Friday. Just in the middle so I can get. making this piece is bigger than it has to be so when I shove it in I can trim the excess off if I don't have any extra then I might not have enough if you know what I'm trying to tell you so it's just I'm just putting a little bit more on it because I can put it outside there and trim it to the shape and as if you can tell on the on the car um, that top piece of that that I'm, I'm welding this to um, I think it comes out on an angle a little bit so it's kind of round there and I would not dare cut it a, a straight piece and expect it to fit because it probably won't it probably won't so I need two of those so I have to cut this we'll trace it off and make another one and we'll go from there and then we'll make the two corners on our own Try to get it straight as possible. And that way there. Excuse me. Excuse me. our tinsel. Alrighty. Let's 
do another one because we're going to need it. It's a fair bit of work to make a box, but when you're done, you can say you made it, you know. Where'd you get your tail light? Oh, I made it. Marcus cut myself. Do you want to cut myself? Do you want baby? Nope. 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 And this was a good gift. The mark in my pocket would be the best. Would be best. off the top of the welds on this. I won't let it set down flush. How do I want to weld that on there? I can weld it on there basically any which way I want to. Ah. Holding it is another thing. Think you want to hold that end to you, sweetheart? My, my baby's gonna help me. I'm just gonna. Um, do you want to grab the ground and just lay it on? <laughs> ah, it's too hard. Kind of hard to hold it that way. Um, now you can help me if you want to just hold that on there. Sit like so. Just hold that in, sweetheart, if you will. I'm just going to put it up on there. Nope, haven't got the right end ground yet. Going to flip it over and put it this way. We'll get her here in a second. I'm sure we will. I'm sure of it. It's being hard to get along with. One spot, we'll hold it. As soon as I put the second one on, you know what happens? She's not movable anymore. It's like, I got it now, sweetheart. Or I think I do. Pull my, pull my. Just gonna, I just wanna get it square as possible, that's all. Alrighty. I'm going to put my helmet on. Now, 
just want to see. I'm, I'm just looking down it and seeing if I got a 90 going on. That's all. It looks pretty good. If I if, if I weld it like this and I weld it down, then I have to pry it back up. And it just kind of will make a sort of a make a sort of a mess, sort of a little bit. Don't think it's going that way though. It's going good. Nice and straight, doesn't it? Boom! Just kind of wondering if I'm going to be able to get that in there. With that, hopefully, I can shove that. It, it might be a little bit getting that in there. Probably have to get Jolene to help me, maybe. But we'll get it in there, no problem at all. I can't see it not working. Back down this end. Do you want to hold the other end, sweetheart? If poss possible? If possible? Thanks, baby. Sorry. So I'm just going to come down your end. Tack it on so it looks nice. That's what I'm talking about. See how that's dragging down there? <laughs> ah. So, if you can picture it, if you can picture it, I'm thinking that you can. Tail light is going in from here. This is going to shove out through that hole. I'm going to cut that back and make a couple five minutes. Let's turn this off for a second. I need to make the corners. So I need another five inch piece. But I don't need it as near as long. Guess it doesn't matter what I take it out of. So by doing what I've done, I've just eliminated I've eliminated the taillights, and uh, that's what I was going for because of the money situation to get a set of taillights. 
just it costs money and uh, if I can eliminate that by making something that's who I am it's like when me and Jolene go in the store if we look at something like a chair or a, or a coffee table I always wonder if I can make it cheaper most of the times I can't because obviously they've they've got a production thing going on where they've got it geared up to do it but some of the things I know I could make cheaper Not all, but some. something round to bend this over looks like about my size right there in the steering column on it now. Behave yourself. Behave. inside there a little bit get in there so you have to talk to it sometimes you really have to let it know what's who's boss I 
attack it there. I don't think it much matters, to be honest with you. But nope, it does not. I was going to butt them there, but where, the, where this is all cased in and inside a taillight does not matter. So for me to take my time and waste it on splicing it together and butting, butting it, <laughs> not going to do it. Not going to do it. Well, you can if you want to, but I am not going to. Let's do the other side. I'm thinking I'm going to have a hard time getting that in there. But I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Make it, let's make another one. Doesn't matter if it's straight, does not matter. make it a little bit longer that's my line that I got I'm just leaving I'm leaving the line and going on the far side because I'm shoving it in there a little bit
go with that one. I did that. and it's tight. Also, where I threw it up there like that, and I did the other end like that, I'm just, I was kind of thinking about when it comes through, I don't want it too big. Um, this is, I guess this tells all, if it fits the hole, it comes out through the hole, we should be fine. If it does not, I have to do some adjustment to make it come out through the hole. I'm going to leave my gloves on, put my hat on. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia, and it's Friday. And Jolene looks amazing today, amazing today. So we got a, a box going on here. It might be a nice welding project for Jolene to go along there and weld that all up, weld that all up. We'll grind it up the best we can. It's going to be underneath the car. It's going to be, it doesn't matter if it's underneath or not. We're going to do a good job on it. But basically, I just stuck it together quickly. So... Sure everything's tight. Now, lights are going in from the back side. In the back side. Plexiglass is going from the front side. Red plexiglass, that is. Ah, now. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in here or not. I don't know. Hmm. I might get vicious. Might have to cut that out of there. Might be just as easy to cut that out of there. And then put a new one across when I'm done. But we'll see. Put this down. Come on. Come on, baby. There's, there's the issue. I have it. Nope, that's probably going to be an issue. You can see how this is tucked down in the center. See that? That's giving me an issue right now. I feel that this, that this bottom piece can be put on at any time. I might just cut it off. You know what I'm trying to say. That can be put on at any time, but. Might take a little bit of holding her tongue the right way. Come on in. A little bit. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cut that off. Yeah. Well, I can't go in there too far. It wants to go in. I'm gonna do a little prying. Screwdriver, that'll be best. Just gonna stick it in there, see what it looks like. Where are we at for time? Okay. Okay, baby. Probably shouldn't fit that tight, but. I got, it, I got that bend in the center that I'm going to have to deal with. It's bending the metal down the way it should be. Yes, it is. Gotta be cut off anyways. Oh, she slid out here. Come on, girl, I got a little tiny piece of weld there. Look. Weld up there. Hey! All right, we're up against the back. That's far she's going in. And basically, what's got to go on from here? Love it. Basically, what's going on here? From Marker. Actually. I might just tack it in the way it is now and then come along and cut it off. A little bit of a gap going on there. That's okay. That's okay. Awesome. So what I can do now, I got it basically in there where it needs to be. <sighs> So you know where I've got to cut it off. It's just like that. I'm going along here and tack it on there. And then on the bottom piece, I'll make it go wherever I feel like it should go. And I'm going to leave it. We want to take that piece out and I think we want to weld it before we put that in there, do we not? We want to weld that all up. So we're going to make a welding project for Jolene. I see this is what's going on here. See, I've got that overlap there a little bit. All I can do is undo that and just knock it out so it fits. That's what I'll do. Knock it out so it fits. I've got it overlapped there a little tiny bit. Must have it leaned in this way a little bit. If I just push it out a little bit, it'll go right to that. We can weld it around there. But right there, that is the bad boy. We'll pull that out, weld it all the way around the back side, cut the bottom off, make brackets that go on the front here from he down here down to there so we can maybe screw or uh, place our plexiglass on the front, the red lights will be in from behind. That'll be our tail lights. Did it as quick as possible. And uh, hope you like it. And if you don't, you'll have to build your own. Won't the baby? Have to build your own. Have to build your own, man. So that's where we're going. That's going to be the tail light. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Did it as quick as I could. So basically, I'll pull that back out. 
Jolene will weld it all the way around, ground it all, grind it all up nice, make it fit a little bit better, and then we're on to the next step, and that's welding it all the way around from the outside. Maybe by then I can, I don't want to say anything, but you come back tomorrow and we'll see what we do. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Whoop, whoop. That's going to look good, eh? I think so. I can see it. I have to thank everybody for all the comments, appreciate it, and uh, you know, for all the people that have changed their mind or, and, you know, and, and like the back window, um, thank you very much, we appreciate it. But it just goes to show you, um, if nothing else, it goes to show you that you can do anything you want for your back window. You don't have to have the original window, you can put your own back window if you want. It's your car, you can do whatever you like. And you know what I say, when it's Friday and you get to go home and do what you want, just you know how happy you are. So you must really realize how happy I am when I get to build my car any way I want to. It's, it's quite nice. How many comments, baby? 615 comments. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's why we come back every day. Everybody shows them love. Dave Hobson, I wish I was as confident with my MIG, weld, my MIG welder. I suppose practice makes perfect. What wire speed do you use? Great job, Chad and Jolene from Sheffield, England. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Uh, the MIG welder, I have right now, I've, I'm using the, the 220 MIG welder. I've got it set on B. And I think I have the wire speed on, on six, I think. I, I like my heat, my heat high. Also, on the welder, uh, I guess B is generally a good place to weld sheet metal. Um, the six is the speed that the wire comes out. And if you're, if you're, if you're spitting, if it's going pop, 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 that means you're going too fast. If you turn it back onto like say four or something like that and it's melting off, you know, it's, you can see bubbles, you can see your wire melting off, you're going too slow. Turn it to the area where you, when you pull the trigger, it's, it sounds like baking frying. If it's going pop, 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 you're going too fast. If it's melting off, you're probably going too slow on the wire speed. Um, your, your wire speed can control your heat. Um, I, I guess this is where, I guess that's the, B is the temperature that you're welding at. The wire speed is where, yeah, where it welds the best. So if you're going too slow, it, the weld, the wire, the it melts off, falls off. If you're going too fast, bup, 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 bup. If just right is sounds like bacon. And that's where you want it. So when you're when you're playing with your welder. It's all by ear and by, by visual, what you're doing. So if it's melting off, like I keep saying it, but that's basically how I do it. And uh, once you get to that stage, um, you'll, you'll know exactly what's going on. Like I can under, you, like a lot of people can listen to me well and they know if I've got it going too fast, too slow or whatever. And it can be dialed in really, really, at a, at, you know, it can be dialed in really good if you want to take the time I find that sometimes when you're welding underneath, you have to t turn that wire speed up a little bit so it so it's burning good. Uh, yeah, so that's that's how I do it, and I uh, hope that gives you a little bit of knowledge on what's going on when you turn your MIG welder on. I generally are weld I'm welding on a C, a B, or a C. The 220 I'm welding on the B. On the 140 MIG I weld on the C. My my wire speed generally is the same. I like quick heat. Uh, yeah, I like quick heat, and that's the way I do it. But is it Bob? I got, I got a, a name. You've won a hat or a shirt of your choice. Nope. Dave. Dave Hobson has won a hat or, or a shirt of his choice. And uh, 
the more you play with the MIG welder, the better you get at it. It's like out, out. I know, but I'm just got marbles in my mouth right now. Allen Iverson. Practice. What do you mean practice? That's how you become good at something, you know. Uh, you just keep practicing, practicing, and practicing. And uh, confidence builds better cars. Have a good one, everybody. Happy Friday.